He literally mocked Joe Biden for wanting to listen to experts about a deadly pandemic that's taken over 220,000 lives. I have no words. There's nothing that makes sense here. You know, Dean, we, I think we probably had this conversation very early in the year, but back in February, um, Dr. Fauci came before my subcommittee on appropriations, the Labor Human Services Education Subcommittee, and said that if we just shut the nation down back in February for two solid weeks, uh, we could have uh, you know, not had the problem that we were going to have in the United States, like other countries did. But because Donald Trump didn't listen to the scientists, because he knew information and didn't share it with the American people, because ultimately he decided a mask is a sign of his failure, and he didn't want to look at that because yep. he's a narcissist. Uh, all of those things are why we're in the place we're at now, much less there was no national plan, and he made states compete against each other for PPE and testing supplies, etc. Pretty much everything that could have been done wrong was intentionally done wrong by this president. So, you know, when I look at Wisconsin and, you know, people are fundamentally nice in the upper Midwest and, you know, people believed him. The people who are Republicans and grew up Republican think the president's not lying to him. And now uh, our hospitals are at 85 percent capacity and people are dying. And, you know, I, I feel bad. Even in my own family, I've got people who are still believing the rhetoric uh, that uh, somehow, um, you know, wearing a mask, uh, won't stop you from getting anything that a mask isn't real. I, I, one of my best friends from high school who, uh, you know, we were very, very tight in the day, uh, thinks this is all going away on November 4th. Um, it's yeah. just, you know, the problem is people are, are needing to, to justify why they still follow Donald Trump, and therefore that means they, they believe him on these things, and this is what's putting us all at risk.